Hello everyone. Today in this post, we are going to talk about change in the momentum of a body. We know momentum is a physical quantity which explains how much kinetic energy is transferred between one body to another when there is a collision. It's mathematically defined as product of mass and velocity. We know mass is a scalar but velocity is a vector. As velocity is a vector, the product of scalar and vector is a vector. So the momentum also becomes a vector quantity. You know what do you mean by a vector quantity? It has both magnitude as well as a direction and it satisfies the certain rules of the vectors. Therefore, if suppose a body is changing its velocity, if suppose a body is changing its velocity from u to v, then it will have an initial momentum as mass into initial velocity and it will have a final momentum as mass into initial velocity. Of course, these are all vectors. So, I can say change in the momentum delta P as P final minus P initial. P final is mv bar and P initial is mu bar. So, change in the momentum also is going to have a specific direction. <coughs> Suppose, let us consider a scenario like there is a body of mass m. It is initially moving with a velocity u like this and after some time it is moving with a velocity v like this and there is an angle between them theta. So this is the direction of p initial, this is the direction of p final and I want to calculate delta p as p initial minus or p final minus p initial. As these two are the vectors we need to apply the vector loss of addition or subtraction to solve them. What I can write like root of p initial square plus p final square minus 2 p initial p final under cos theta. This formula we need to use depending on how do the bodies are having a certain angle between them. Let us consider a scenario that there is a wall, a ball of mass m is moving with a velocity v, it has striken the wall and comes back with the same velocity v. I want to calculate what is the change in the momentum. I would like to say p final minus p initial. p final is mv minus p initial is also m minus v. Why a minus v? When compared with these two, they are equal in magnitude but in the opposite direction. So the change in the momentum becomes automatically 2 mv. Like this we can calculate a change in the momentum. Let us consider one more scenario. There is a wall like this, residue wall. There is a ball of mass m. It is striking the wall not horizontally but by making an angle theta with the horizontal with a velocity v. Say it is given in the problem that it bounces back, the ball bounces back with the same angle theta, with the same velocity v. People might ask you what is the change in the momentum. Let us try to calculate. This is the initial momentum direction making an angle theta. So velocity can be resolved into components. This component will become automatically v cos theta. This component will become automatically p sin theta. This is nothing but the resolution of the vectors that we have learned earlier. Both the components will be in the same direction of the vector. Now this vector is moving outward. I can resolve this also into components as what? This component is nothing but v cos theta and this component is nothing but equal to v sin theta. Now we need to calculate what is the change in the momentum. Let us calculate what is the change in the momentum along the y axis. So I would like to say Py final minus Py initial. We can see in the y axis initially V sin theta, finally also V sin theta. So V sin theta minus V sin theta that is 0. There is no change in the momentum along the y axis. Let us check about the x axis change the momentum along the x-axis. Initially it is v cos theta, 
Finally, also it is v cos theta, but in the opposite direction. So what I have to say, m v cos theta minus, because it is in opposite direction and it is a vector, I have to write a minus m v cos theta, minus of minus will become plus. So the change in the momentum will become automatically to m v cos theta. Like this, in different scenarios, we can calculate the change in the momentum. Thank you.